Sarasota man's pipe dream about making a movie featuring Florida wildlife spawned a project to help restore the region's bait fish population. And now he's competing for big cash to keep that project going. ABC Action News reporter Kira Mashek takes a look at his efforts and why it matters. Philip Kiyokio calls himself Johnny Fish Seed. Like the famed Johnny Appleseed, he's helping grow a food supply. But instead of fruit, he's trying to rebuild the bait fish population. The lowest of the low need the most help we can get because without helping them, we all starve. Kiyokio's effort started a year ago as a mission to make a movie. He tossed fistfuls of food into the waters near Sun Circle Park in Sarasota, planting his first seeds and documenting what happened with his camera. Before long, he noticed bait fish numbers at his feeding site were climbing. Now I've got sheep's head, a second generation of sheep's head. I've got stone crabs. I've got minnows. I've got pilchers. i got all this activity. That's led to the creation of the Sea Babies Project, which now includes volunteers in four locations in Sarasota and Siesta Key. Those volunteers routinely feed snacks to bait fish in designated zones. Eventually, Kiyokio would like to see a whole lot more of these colonies. Ideally, with hundreds of many marine nurseries in every canal around here, we would create these corridors that would become no fishing, no netting, no uh, crabbing zones. But doing that will take more money and expanded research efforts to figure out what works best to keep the bait fish population growing. That's why Sea Babies is competing for thousands of dollars in grant money in the first ever Gulf Coast Innovation Challenge. It's coming from the ground up and it's folks who are out here every day doing it, acting as docents for marine life. And the foundation hopes win or lose, efforts like Sea Babies will continue helping sustain and grow the state's blue economy. In Sarasota, Karamashik, ABC Action News.